Welcome to the video today. Today we are looking at which is better, 5 inch water pump pliers from Knipix or the 5 inch um, pliers wrench from Knipix. Which one is better? Which one's worse? It's hard to tell, but I do think there is a definitive answer and if you'll stick around to the end of the video to find out, you will find out. So, let's get into what each tool is here. Both tools are made by Knipex. K-N-I-P-E-X. They pronounce it Knipex. If you go to their website, they have t-shirts that you can get that say the, you know, sound it out for you on how it's pronounced. They are a German company that makes a lot of various tools. And for the EDC world, these guys have been quite popular because they're pocketable, they're small, but they're big enough to actually do some heavy duty work. Or I apologize for the rocking of the camera here. Camera setup isn't the best. So first tool that we're looking at here are the five inch water pump Cobra pliers. I've carried these for over six months now. They've been in my pocket or on my belt almost every single day. I've used them a fair chunk. I, I use I whip these out and use them at least every other day for something big. Every day, off and on for tiny little things that really probably could be done with something else. But I use these quite often. They have uh, their trademarked gripping ability. They can wrap around round pipes and really lock on. Um, they're also great for nuts and bolts. I'll give them that. Fantastic pair. There's no downsides to this. And there's even this hack that you can do where you bump this down a little bit off the top. And you can put the Leatherman ratchet driver in there for extra torque. So you can have like a plier and screwdriver combo. Gives you a little bit more leverage. You can pack the Leatherman bit kit and this guy together. You've got that. So that's a plus. Can we do that on this? Not so much. I've, I've tried it in the past. We'll try it again. It goes in. It does kind of lock, but it's kind of rocks a little bit. But it is, it is doable. It does work. It does work. It just, you got to finick it into the right spot. Whereas this is a little bit more sure. On going in and staying in so you know if you if you're wanting to do the Knipix slash Leatherman bit driver hack both tools will work now let's get into the pliers wrench I have not carried these as long as these guys here but in the few weeks that I've had these I have carried them and used them almost every single day on stuff um, the lower settings I find very handy for pinching and pulling on stuff or pinching a thin piece of metal to bend it because I, I do a lot of crafting and tinkering. These have been fantastic for that, but much more is auto work, always tinkering on the car, keeping loose bolts snug, replacing this, replacing that. And these get into the tight spots on the car that a normal wrench doesn't usually get on and, you know, it gets in there and bites. Comparing that to a normal crescent wrench, which I do carry quite often, because this is a little bit this crescent wrench is a little bit shorter than this and can get into a few spots, and it's just kind of a nice, you know, little set to have all complete. But the problems with these is those always loosen and adjust in ways that you don't want. Whereas this, you put a little bit of pressure on the handle here. To tighten that down and it snugs up automatically. These can get loose on you and stay loose and you got to pull them out, re-screw it, and then you always screw it the wrong direction. You got to unscrew it. This is push button to cl something close of what you're working on and go. Fantastic. Now one downside if you get the stock version of these is they come with that dipped red handle which is super shiny, super glossy, super slippery. I like to have a little bit more grip. And so originally I, you know, just peeled it all off. Um, the plain metal was absolutely fine, but I thought I would give uh, some heat shrink tubing a chance. So I got some heat shrink tubing, slapped it on there, 
took a torch to it, you know, welded it down there. Not welded, you know, you know how heat shrink tubing works. And so I've got these nice little black handles. They add a little bit more comfort, a little bit more grip. Lovely addition. I wish Kinepix would change that dipping handle to this more rough orange peel texture that the water pumps have. Both tools are very easy to adjust. This opens up, if you're doing both 5 inch versions, the water pumps open up wider than the wrench does. Which can be, you know, big time handy when you're working on stuff. Both of them come down to a absolute fine point of hair pulling precision. Literally, you can pull hairs with these. Um, they're both equal. If you don't know which one to get, you know, go with the one that looks better. You know, give it a try. But I would say, in general, if you're wanting a one and done plier, I would, I, it, it's not by a lot. I would have to say the pliers wrench comes out on top. It wins the contest of which one of these two is better, but just barely. And as for my needs, now I'm the kind of person that has the room to carry both. So I will carry both. But if you're the type of person, excuse me, if you're the type of person that can only carry one tool, I would recommend this tool. You have uh, six inch, five inch, and four inch versions, and you know, way bigger, but six inch and smaller are the pocketable types. Um, I like the size of the five inch. It's small, but uh, more than big enough to do heavy duty jobs like car work. If you're always tightening bolts on a car, this thing is fantastic. It, and part of what gives this a leg up over this is amplified leverage. The tool here is a one-to-one -one pivot ratio, but the handle is like three times longer than that. So you get like a three-to-one ratio on leverage there. Whereas this is a ten-to-one ratio. What, you know, one pound that you put on the end here translates to ten pounds of pinch force here. One pound of pressure that you put here turns into three pounds of pressure there. So when you're really, you know, finagling rusted bolts, this guy really does come out on top. It can bite down, it can hold. I do wish that they would add a version with some grit and teeth to it, kind of like the Cobras here. But uh, that's just me. I wish Knipix would do like a straight on pair of pliers. It doesn't have to be needle nose. Like this size range of like normal blunt nose straight on pliers would be fantastic as an addition to this. Or like a, they have like a six inch version, I think, of dykes, but they don't have like four or five inch version of wire cutters. So, you know, que sera, sera. There's now each of you is going to, you know, you want different tools for your different needs some of you will be more than happy with this that's absolutely fine i'm not saying that you should buy this per se i'm saying weigh your options but if you're dealing with nuts and bolts on a regular basis go with that that'll get i think that'll do the job a lot better than this will i would suggest personally that you have the two you know, because there's stuff that this can do that this cannot, and vice versa. Vice grip versa. Eh? Um, me, you know, as, as you've probably seen in some previous videos of mine on my channel, I carry both of these back to back. Love these guys. They're a great team. And also, I carry the both of them because how often are you working on something where you've got a nut on one end and a bolt on the other and you gotta you need two pliers? And so the two do get the job done. But when it comes to rusted car parts that you're trying to finagle, that comes in handy. It's also great for crafting when you're trying to pinch down on something to hold it and clamp it down and, you know, hold that in place when you're trying to do something else to it. Fantastic little pocket vise. So, with that said, to clarify, I do think this one 
is better. The five inch pliers wrench. But this one is a very, very close second. I recommend the both of them. If you're doing a lot more uh, plumbing work, I'd recommend this because this grabs pipes better than that. If you're doing nuts and bolts, this is better than that. And that's just how life is. I do wish though Kinemics would, that Knipix would do a straight on pliers set to kind of just even out the pliers range here because the curved head is nice, fantastic, love it. But it would be nice to have like a straight on plier head. Now I do know Snap-on makes like a four inch, four and a half inch tool. And I'd love to check that little guy out, but that'll be another day down the road. So with that said, thank you for listening to me ramble and bounce all over the place here. Um, I hope my video helped you in some way. I hope you find me, my all of my videos useful and, and informational. I hope it helps you build your EDC to your standards. And until the next time, farewell, carry well, and bye-bye.